people. Hello. So I um, am getting ready for a birthday party. My husband's uncle's birthday parties today. And um, I thought I would come on and do a get ready with me, but also finish the rest of my Amazon haul. I brought these up because I thought they were something else. So I'm just going to throw them in. I, um, when I make my husband uh, meat loaves, I make them the little individual loaves. He likes barbecue sauce on them. And I'm tired of using a spoon to spread the barbecue sauce over before it goes in the oven. So I just got some silicone brushes. These are little, they're not for a grill. You, we never put plastic on a grill. They do have silicone brushes with a wooden handle if you want a barbecue, okay? They're, um, they're from Amazon, silicone basting brush. I told my husband I splurged and spent the, you know, $6. And it comes with three of them. So these were up here because I thought they were something else and you know, turns out they were my, my brushes. I forgot I bought these. That's what happens during Prime Amazon Day. You just buy shit and you're like, oh, I, I didn't know I bought that. Um, my bathing suits came in and this is from last year. This is the one I got last year that I absolutely love. It held up. It's um, just, you know, it's a shirt. Like, and it's a long one. And then it comes with swim trunks, just like shorts. So I was like, I, you know, I, I have a couple of other ones in there that I don't feel comfortable in. So, you know, I was like, I, I want to get, you know, another one. Cause the place we're staying at, the house has a, um, an indoor, an in-ground pool that's like enclosed and everything. And I'm going to be there for four days. So I wanted to get, you know, bathing suits. I also have a pool at my condo place or my clubhouse down the road. And, uh, I was like, ah, oh, maybe I'll finally get there. I haven't been there in four years. I don't know if I'm going to now. Which reminds me, I think today is my, uh, it is. It's the four year anniversary of me signing the papers. Aw, happy anniversary house. So I got a, um, same, same thing. A little different because it has like the, um, it actually has the metal strap uh, thingamabobs, but it's the same thing. It's just black and comes with the black swim trunks. Um, they might have been in like the $30 range, but for plus size ladies out there, a swimsuit, 30 bucks, two pieces, you know, and they're comfortable. Forget about it. Anyway, I saw, I didn't realize this when I purchased it, but there's actually like, instead, like the bra, instead of, um, you could pull the padding out. I mean, I freaking love that. So, you know, uh, I'll put this on my head, my husband's head or something, but yeah, I didn't realize that until I saw the, um, cause I bought these from, they're from Amazon, but I, I got the, um, try before you buy. So I was like, oh, let me just take a look and see how much it was that I purchased so I could tell you. And I saw that and I was like, no way. And then this tie here, when you untie it, once you put it on, you can pull it so that it gives it even more, you know, even more of a shape. And it just goes by, you know, your body. So I got an all black one with black trunks, which, is always good. Um, I'm not one of those that thinks all black's gonna, I mean, I'm wearing my yellow shirt. I'm keeping it. Um, I'm not one of those that has all black because you know, it makes you look thinner. Um, I don't care about that. So this one comes with another pair of black swim, swim, uh, shorts. So I can buy shirts from that, you know, just like the, uh, I call it a bathing suit, um, you know, bathing suit top, tin kini or whatever they call it. So I'm going to take the, the ones out of here too, because it's from the same brand, only this one looks like this. It's kind of marbly. So I thought that was going to be really cute. Um, it's got like a, you know, my blue and some green, gray, black. 
So yeah, I mean, I'm set. I, like I said, I do have another, um, I think I have two more shirts in my, whatchamacallit, but uh, I absolutely love these. These are extremely comfortable. They don't like stick to, you know how like, you know, everything sticks to your body when you get out of the water. These don't, they're just, they're very flowy. So here it is again, Amazon. And the company is called Hannah Nicole with a K. So on Amazon, again, I think it's like 30 some bucks or something like that, but they're plus size and they're true to size. So whatever size you are, where you go shopping, you'll, you won't be disappointed if you want to grab one of those. Um, and like I said, you can actually, um, do it. I, th that particular brand is on try before you buy. So I have until Friday to decide if I like it. If I don't, I take it back. They don't charge my card. So that's good. And then the real reason we're here is the boxy. I haven't opened it. I just opened the label. So we're going to find out together. Okay. My mom glasses are here. Um, oh, P.S. My husband came home with coffee. I told him, I was like, I, you don't have to get me that extra large Starbucks today. Because he's taken my car for the wash and to fill the tank up. And he's like, well, you like Dunkin'. Why don't you get a coffee there? And I was like, you know what? I haven't had one. All right, I'll do that. And then he brought me home those flowers. And I'm like, wait, my nails, my shirt. Did you? I was in the shower when he was out. So he had no idea that I was wearing this. But aren't they the stinking cutest? They're like, you know, the big daisies, summer daisies, I guess they're called. Um, he buys me flowers all the time. So I said, aw. I'm going to put them there on TV and show them off how good of a husband I have. Um, so, before I get started, I want to, in my last live, thank you everyone for joining. Um, I said, you know, I shot Blaine Bryant because everything lasts. So, I, you know, I had this. This was when, in my try-on. But, these are the pants I'm wearing with them today. My white jeans. I bought these jeans... I know that I made settlement, which is really strange. In fact, today's all weird. Sitting like my nails, my shirt, the flowers, the house anniversary, and I signed the papers buying the house in these pants. Um, you know, because I had a picture, so I know I was wearing these. That was in 2018, and I had them probably. I had them. I wore them on the Super Bowl when the Eagles won. And that was in 2018, February. So I probably bought them in the summer of 20, 2017. It might have even been 2016. And they're holy because that's how I bought them. Um, so if you take care of your clothes and you want to invest money in them, Lane Bryant is where to go because they last. Um, again, I take very good care of my things. So hear that, foodie? All right, let's get into this box. Came with some good packaging too. So this is status 000 month. I don't know what the hell that is. What did we get? Uh, phase zero makeup, eyeshadow palette. It's a new launch. Retails for 40 bucks. Oatmeal moisturizing cream. All right. Eloise Beauty eyeshadow brush set. Well, that's, you know, I need more of that. Beauty for Certain, a whole lot of mascara. Brand new to Boxy. And Dr. Lily Fan, Probiotic XL, X Slash Enhancer. Exclusive formula featuring a patent peptide complex that is safe with clinical results. It delivers the wow effect, providing length and volume. It helps promote the natural growth of beautifully long and healthy lashes. Apply at night to help get your gorgeous lashes. This continuous, with continuous use, grow long, fuller lashes in four to 12 weeks. It is retailed at 68 bucks. 
What the fuck? Well, these are cute. These are the, uh, these are the brushes. I'm going to try these out today. I, j I did. The other, when I got off live, I, I uh, went and watched SJM's thing. And um, I, where are my scissors? I just had them. Scissors, where did you go? Probably on the floor because I drop everything. Um, I went in SJM's chat, like the, the night he did the burgers and she jumped in and uh, washed my brushes and watched that. And then what the hell did I do after that? Oh, big brother. I'm a dental professional. Don't ever do this with your teeth. But it was aggravating me. Because you call us and you tell us that you opened something with your teeth and you broke something. And we like, well, you're not supposed to do that. So don't do what I do. Anyway, here's a nice um, defining brush. A flat A bigger flat flusher, you know, and then a blending. Uh, they're pretty soft. They're pretty soft. So the thing is, is, like, when they have, like, the color, like, the peachy colors, you know, the white bristles with the color, the color at the top, if I'm using... I, I, well, I mean, I changed my brushes, so it really doesn't matter. I don't know why that irks my preserves, but it does. Just give me the white bristles. I just want white bristles. Or I'll go for dark bristles if I'm using, like, really dark colors so that it doesn't stain my white ones. And my white ones is the color pop. Um, I don't know if I have any other white, white ones. Now, it brushes are the opposite. They have the dark and then the white, so you can see what the frig color you're using. Anyway, this is the, I guess this is the mascara. Let me take a look at the brush. You know you're not going to get, I actually like these kind of brushes. So, I don't know. I'll try it today, but I'm hardcore essence. And how much is this freaking mascara? I have my face, I have my skincare on, so I, my glasses are sticking. Uh, $32? Somebody do the math. Because I could get a two-pack for six. I could get 10 Essence mascaras for this one thing that I don't even, I never even heard the brand. Who is that? I mean, she's pretty, but who is that? Because it's like that, you know, I, I don't, I don't get it down with all those, those women rappers that talk about women and then like, you know, are into the, I, I just don't think women, well, I mean, I sit here and I should talk this one, but you know, that WAP song is degrading. That's gross. All right. This is the conditioning goat milk moisturizer. Take a look at this bad boy. I do like Kate Somerville. Um, I do like it a lot. Let's see. Oh, it's very milky. Absolutely no smell. I'm going to put some on. I did my retinol and I'm using that retinol, um, that new retinol stuff that I got. So... Uh, it's, it's still, it's still okay. I haven't gotten any, okay, I think that's enough. Um, I still haven't gotten any, like, reaction or anything like that. So, well, this feels nice. This actually feels really nice. I mean, I just rubbed my face. 
you know, with my, uh, you know, tail. I just um, rub my face with my serums and stuff. So, you know, my face is going to have red marks and stuff. So we'll see how that turns out. But good. I still haven't gotten my freaking moisturizer. I keep forgetting to pick it up. All right. This is the probiotic lash grower. I'd be down with this. Um, I'll try it out. Is it going to be enough for enough stuff for four weeks? Is this like a mascara? Son of a bitch it is. Oh, it's a, no, it's not. It's a, it's a brush with the serum on it. All right. Well, I'll give that a whirl. I have good lashes, but I mean, yeah, I can, I can get them, you know, plumpier. So, last but not least, yeah, my husband went and got the cars done. He was going to do some overtime today. He brought his computer home and I'm like, N you're not going to have enough time. And he's beating himself up. But he's like, I slept in late and you know. I, I was, I have to get the cars done. It's, that's his thing. He has to do the cars each week or he doesn't feel good about himself. I, it's his thing. I don't know. I don't touch rubber pants, so I can't, I can't tell the man. He's going to get my car washed. Why am I going to, you know, bicker about that? But I'm like, you, don't worry. You, you can sleep in. You've been working your ass off for the last few weeks. You can sleep in. And, um, if you want to go get the cars washed, then that's okay. So, uh, This is the palette. It's actually a pretty, it's a, it's a pretty sleek palette. Um, plastic, but let's check this out. I, I mean, these are all just like, literally, are there any, there's not any real, like, what? I mean, it looks like there's four shimmers, four, four mattes. So, uh, very light, very, very, very light. And that was the four top. Um, I think I'll do my ABH palette today. What do you guys think? Put it back in the box. I, I would imagine, I mean, I'm not giving it a fair shot. You know, I really am not giving it a fair, fair, uh, go at it, but. And it's nice if you like neutrals, but I just don't feel like there's any real difference in, you know. All right, what's all this stuff? So anyway, I'm working on my own box mountain. So um, I'll try the mascara. We did the cream. It's actually pretty, it feels good. It dried down nice and it's tacky. So it could possibly be um, a pretty good um, primer. I'm going to do the CC cream again today because um, it's just, it's that time of year and I do get redness on my face. So it has nothing to do with the products I've been using. Um, I'm always like this. So yeah, let's do it. Should we? Shall we? Should, can we? I woke up this morning to all oh, hell breaking loose. Like, what's happening so I don't know who uh Sam's you know I'm gonna fuck it up right Sam's bar lounge is that what it is who is that somebody tell me who is this person that has this information um is it true that it's Jennifer Corvina because I saw one of uh, 
one of um, I saw a lot of familiar faces in the in the comment section. Uh, but one of them was one of his ex mods. Uh, I don't know. I I think it was the the grandmom. And I'm not doing that like to be derogatory. Like I think she is the one who is a grandmother, and um, not that not that angel horns person. I know someone else. Anyway, uh, I forget who she was when she was with Natter, but I saw she changed her name, and I saw that one in the comment section. Like, uh, Dee Dee. You didn't have me fooled. Honestly, I was never fooled by you. I thought you were a little bit more um, put together than the other one. This one here that we're going to listen to in the background. This is her one this morning. This is why it's fake. Without some shit like that. I don't know. Um, but DD, like literally, I thought you were a little bit more together. I obviously thought your screw was loose that you're with this man. Um, and, uh, yeah, we kind of all knew that the way he is and how she talked about him, that you guys were screwing. It's not a surprise. So you guys coming on last night and like, surprise, we're together. And him claiming you. Um... That's just some weird fucking shit. That's just some strange shit. Being like, oh, he finally claimed me. Is that kind of like when someone says, I finally put a ring on it, but we're joking because we've been together for years and years and years. And uh, the guy finally got the ring. Is it kind of like that? Because I think it's not. I, I think that us saying, well, I mean, it took my husband no time to put a ring on it. Oh, it kind of did. Because we were together seven years, we broke up for 20, and then he finally put a ring on it. So, I'm the ultimate, he finally put a ring on it, I guess. Anyway. People that are together a long time, and then they finally get engaged in it, and, you know, the girl's like, oh, he finally put a ring on it. It's cute. But saying that he finally claimed you, that just sounds weird to me. Sorry, it does. My husband tells everybody he's got a license for me and he can prove it because they gave it to him from the courthouse. <sighs> and he also goes around telling everybody that, uh, you know, he carries my recipes around with him every day because his belly. He's not trying to uh, humiliate me online. I don't even think, well, I, I, he's never told me to shut the F up. He's never told me that. Uh, but we're comparing apples to oranges here. My, I mean, like my husband is a, you know, he's the good one. I told you I'm the troublemaker. So anyway, yeah, so that's happening. Uh, she is, you know, uh, she's vindicated and, you know. Here's my problem. I always have a problem. She's empathetic. Now look. You don't know what situation that DD's in up there, right? Because she was going around telling everybody how great he was for the longest time too. So DD could be in that same hostage situation. So, if you and her share the same man, same experiences with the same man. Why are you going to make a t-shirt that says thanks, Dee Dee? That doesn't sound very empathetic to me. And if she is in this situation and those pictures, I honestly like thought that um, it was lighting and or she had uh, just a, you know, it, it's just her skin is thinner. I mean, I'm not, as we get older, our face and the skin on our face gets, gets, you know, thinner. And, uh, by him 
aggressively threading her face the other day. I thought that that's, you know, why there might have been some markings, some discoloration. I also don't not believe he would throw hands because he's just a disgusting human being. But she, I distinctly remember one time her being in a barbecue or a, a barbe Burger King drive through telling Dee Dee she'll take her back to Lachine because she knows. So, you know, I mean, at what point do you just shut up or do you really just extend your hand and say, look, um, I know exactly the stage that you're in and I am willing to help you. Dee Dee might be afraid to seek help. Has she been in those kind of relationships before? We don't know. You know what by this thing? You can't, you can't do that. So, I just hope that Dee Dee uh, is safe and is um, okay. I really do. I didn't watch his shit last night. I, I saw that they were, you know, the necklace thing. I saw the clip. I try not to go on to his thing. Sometimes I go on there and I, I, I report. I, re I don't know how many times I reported the um, the Gary video. I, I just don't know how many times I did. And I even, I don't really go on Twitter that often. I have it because I have the channel and I'm like, you know, connecting the both. My necklace, this little tiny necklace walks all the time. Um, but I even went on Twitter and told, you know, I tagged YouTube, YouTube, team YouTube. I tagged everybody I could possibly tag. He needs to get off of this platform. He is absolutely vile and disgusting. And, um, maybe that will help Dee Dee in some way. Or it might hurt. Who knows? We're going to do the same face as the live and the video before that. I'll put everything in the description box. But, uh, um, yeah, so, uh, I saw everything today up into, you know, her shoving her face with food. She makes the strangest shit. And I make my bacon in the microwave too. Um, it's less... It doesn't cause a lot of grease everywhere. You put a paper towel over it too so that it's not all over your microwave. But it does come out the best. So I will give her credit on that. Microwave bacon is definitely the way to go. So let's listen in here. Because this is where I stopped. Look at that pause. Mm-hmm, absolutely better stuff. She, she's almost done eating, right? I don't even believe they're in a relationship. I believe he wanted to do that to hurt you. Another child, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, who said that? Vegas they're not in a relationship, but he's fucking. They're fucking. They're in a relationship. He's waiting for me to show up with the boxing gloves. Hey, D2, let's fight for the game. No, man. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's too loud for her to be eaten like that. It, it's, I got to fast forward. I don't think any of you guys will care. Is she done? She sound, she, it's disgusting. Like a, a pistol or a handgun? 
But no, I actually wouldn't even get one because of my mental health. They wouldn't even give me one. They do psych the bells here. Yeah, you can't have a gun. And well, don't start that she shit. Still be a beezer, and that she always will because she, she sees what you say. She, they did. They have no case. After everything they've said, didn't both Nara and Didi swear up and down you didn't bring them back to Montreal? After you did give them a ride, yes. This is them lying after everything I do and stressing out for them. So no, that was that. That was my straw. Like that was it for me. Realizing it's never going to change. No, I could never, I could never have a gun here again. But, what I do have is this. When at the age of eight, she's going to fucking squirt herself in the eye and I'm going to piss myself. All right, so all I have to do is move it over like that. Spouse in the house. He wants to let me know he's back. Domestic dog and coyote attack the Terran. So I'm gonna put this irritant. So if I just push it over like that, I can spray it, so. You can't find your meds. You're gonna find that. For my bed. And if anyone comes to fuck us, they're getting it right in the face. Go ahead, Sam. Go ahead, Sam. I don't know what it tastes like. It's an irritant, it says. I think it's pepper spray. Or mace. I got it on Amazon. It's like bear spray. It's dog coyote spray. It's bear spray, kind of. <laughs> what if I spray pizza the night? Wasp sprays like pepper spray? Oh. The way you were high last night, you might. Keep that was hammer. disgusting. Yes. Damsel in defense. Okay. JB, damsel in defense. Yes. And I'm making merch too this weekend. I'm going to roll it up next week. It's going to say thank you, Dee Dee. Why? I am so curious about what story he spun about stabbing. Oh my god, I can tell you guys all about that later if you want. He basically said, like... You're treading in some terrible waters there. She asked him to come over. They were broken up. She had a no-contact order on him, too. Dog deterrent should keep Nava away. <laughs> Oh, Canada is illegal and they're the fuck. Yeah, it's very hard. It's harder to get a gun here. Like, if you want to hunt, you can get a rifle. He called me Delphine number two because he. No, 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 no. He called me Delphine number two because I was going to put him in jail just like Delphine did. Bitch, you put yourself in jail. You stabbed her. You put yourself in jail. She's so, got a very good point. You hit me. You put yourself in jail. I told you I don't like anal. You kept pushing. You put yourself in jail. Anyway. He's not going to jail for that because you dropped the charges. Whether you... Whatever. You dropped the charges. Alright. Don't be taking no credit if that man goes to jail. So he told me that she called him over and... Uh, I don't remember exact detail, but she called him over. He called, called him over. He went over. He, she lured him over there or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how he got there. Anyway, he ended up in a room with not this big. He said this is his big native. Her big native cousin was blocking the doorway and he couldn't leave. She was holding him back. So One day left the dirty hair. So, he had, so then if she's holding your arms, how did you stab her? Like, where did you have the time to go so into wet. the fucking kitchen and get a knife? So I just kind of like, you know, she heard him over with her fupa stop. I don't buy it either. And with this whole, this big native cousin, who he stabbed to, was not in the picture. Like, in the trial, nothing. This big native cousin is nowhere to be found. <clears throat> I 
So that's what he meant about him being kidnapped. Yes. So which is it? Because you're saying a real man would never let that happen to him. He changes it to fit his narrative. Classic narco. Yes. It's safe to say he lied about that. The native cousin was a man. He's a narcissist, right? Exactly. End of story. Everything I use for my hair is down in the description box, just FYI. This is the oil, this uh, cannabis oil. He wanted me, he told, and he told me the story. It smells so good. He told me, oh, look at these berries. Oh my God, last night she could barely, f she was so stoned, she could story. not get he's that so food in her mouth. Those muffins. Said, tell me like, okay, well I have a problem, I'm going through. Mm -hmm. I can't wash when she's that high. It, it's it's he's basically saying bad. You can't overpower. Uh, I don't know. Oh, when is the Stay sixty days, days going to start? Says, absolutely. People Seriously, when's it going to start? My mom says people look up more about buying a car than who they sleep with. You're right, Vegas. She's right, Vegas. Doll. It's hard to see because it's well, this it's called glo um. Gloss me. It's by the company Design. So me. Just watch this combo. I feel for you. Smells so good. Love for hearing these. Hope you have some closure now. Thank you, Holly. Thank you. I don't know why your words make me emotional, but yes, it did give me some closure. Oh, yeah. Miss Holly. She's an arc survivor too. Okay. She's got the swords. Okay. Because for some reason, even though I knew, I had to know. You know what I mean? <laughs> <sighs> You should look up a story that happened in the U.S. about a sadist that had a trailer. Yes, the toy box killer. Oh, fuck. Have you considered apologizing for lying for defending a woman beater? She's not I kind haven't of even, like, begun to think of all the apologies I need to do. You're not going to do them. Did I handle it? I don't think women should apologize for how they handle it because you don't, like, when you're in it, you're so fucked up. That's just crazy. I don't know how to explain it. I'm gonna make splashes. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of my NARS on today too. Mace is illegal. I think if you use it on a person, but I'm gonna use it on a person. If you come in here, it's either that or you get shot. So Mace is better than that. If you invade my home, yeah. You don't have a gun. What are you going to do, fart? Everyone does. For a three feet. Oh my god. How did Dee Dee and him really meet? I have no idea. Yeah, I have to heal first, man. Absolutely. They met That's through you. Okay. She learned it by watching you. How are you going to shoot them exactly? I have no gun. I'll, so my mace is all I have. Uh, after the audio, I really could see how messed up her head was. You're blind when you're with an arc. I was till you broke my jaw. I'm sorry you went through that fucking sick. There are disgusting men out there. There really are. Yeah, but there's a lot of really good ones, too. And unfortunately, women go for the bad boys. Yes. Chantal Sorrell is worthy. Just release your stank. I actually do wash my food very well. Thank you very much. Nowadays. You when you shower. Yes. That is everything. I'm going to smoke a doob. I'm going to smoke a doob. Or no, I'm not going to smoke a doob till tonight. Yeah. Other day for the fuka.
Let me just shut the door open. Kitty? She should really think about getting a bidet. They have them on Amazon. Like with the whole COVID thing and people like, you know, beating each other up over toilet paper, they they were going off the off the shelves. She was traumatized, so was I. Probably both he it makes sense to me now. He was also it never occurred to me he's lying to her too. He was lying to her too, guys, saying I don't want to be with her crazy ass. I'm sure he was lying to her to say whatever he needed to. Wait, to are we sympathizing with her now or are we still he making t-shirts? He's fucking invading her life. I do feel a bit bad for her. But you're going to make t-shirts. Don't forget, you're going to profit. I mean, like, they're gonna actually going to yeah, happen. traumatizing threesome. Hold on, I need to smoke. <laughs> Fucking All right, come on, puff and stuff. And then, I'm under your big beautiful beaver. I have to leave you from the beginning. Thank you. That's a generous. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I don't know where I heard it. I can't. I was working yesterday, all right, people, and then I went out with my girlfriends. So apparently, you can't have a life around here because that's how I was. Remember how I would be like? She goes off. She did mention that the chat is a little bored. I think it was. I would do a tell. I think I watched the one where she was at the farm. Maybe it was there. Kick his fucking ass out, get yourself a hot Moroccan with a job. Do you do it? Everyone's a fucking. I don't want to for her, right? I'm getting away from him. She doesn't I like the it. handles of these brushes. I mean, come on. You need to get a man that puts you first. Absolutely. Vegas, I've been blocking. You can try it on. I've been, because she loves Moroccan men. She loves Moroccan men. Right now, she's probably too much in love with Natter. I get it, because I was. He absolutely she did treat Nat, uh, her. Dee Dee That's really with sad. a little bit more respect. Now we're going to see it come out. It feels so good. Like, anyone who doesn't know what it's like to leave a narc abusive relationship is like, number one, it's extremely fucking hard to leave. So if you made it out, <sighs> maybe she's like you and you swear. And she's an Aries. I think she's my foil I in a lot of ways. I swear to fucking God. I believe people are put in your life to teach you lessons. Absolutely. Either you're... People come into your life for good or to teach you a lesson. Come on, philosopher. This was a lesson, unfortunately. Come on. Get some more of that word I, porn. Yeah. Yeah. Why do they have air conditioning? They do have air conditioning, but she doesn't turn it on because she they smoke in the house, so they need the windows open. Believe me, when I was there, I was like, can you put the A's but where they kept chain smoking. So she couldn't have the windows open. And I was like, oh, I'm dying, man. <clears throat> Your hair is too, Sherry? Go get a fry tattoo. She should hit up Roman, he has a jacuzzi. I don't know if Roman would, probably not. Maybe, but it's, it smells like fucking cigarettes. Well, she has like a small condo, but she has really high ceilings, so it doesn't feel s small in there. Baby. 
Diego, I think she should, honestly, at this point, objectively, she should kick his fucking ass out. If she has any res respect for herself, she would kick his fucking ass out. And get someone... But what if she can't? And, and you should know that. Channel exposing him. Do it. Get him the fuck out of there, man. Like, he's not worth it. His pain is not worth it. He's only there screwing you because he didn't get an apartment with me. How does that make you feel? Like, leave him. Piss off now she's those. throwing like, it in her face. Oh, she'll probably pay for that. He has to live there. He doesn't, he has to live there. He's cornered. Opposed to subjectively kick him out. I'm saying objectively, like, remove your feelings for him out of it. She's besotted, not going to happen. All right, let's, uh, no. try one of these. I don't want that one yet. I don't see it happening, Chantal. I believe she will definitely hang in there. That's really sad. To try to stick it to me? Girl, you won. Hey, Dang, these brushes are weird. Me. You won. Let's all give her a round of applause, everyone in the chat. Because I don't want what She's you have. so smug and disgusting. At all. At all. I can promise you that. Because if I did, I would have it. I would be in an apartment suffering right now in Montreal. She has until August 3rd. <laughs> yeah. Why do I think he's going to jail? I'll tell you why. Because her story is a lot more believable now that the timeline matches up. You have a prior history of it. And anyone who knows the story online, you are going to be in shit. This reminds me of him claiming you after the May stuff. His trial is coming up and he's claiming you. Uh. <laughs> Where did you send me these? I got one. But he only claimed her in Toronto, yeah, I though. That, really. You're not I just want to watch me. Stay mad, bitch. Okay. I hope Monty actually go, goes and streams it. He should go and live stream the whole thing so that nothing can happen to him. Is that, can you do that? It matters, like, I hope I see you in the basement. At this point, if he has nothing to lose, he probably would try to do something to Monty. Back of my mind, I don't think he's going to jail. Evil people always seem to get away. I know. It's going to be a long time before he goes to jail. I don't know. Shut up in me. No, I'm not deleting the live. Apparently. Where's more audio, Norma? Monty in the courtroom, Matter will freak out. I know. <laughs> He's going to ask Doo Doo to smuggle in a fourth pyramid CDs. <laughs> I just sing that song. <laughs> Do you think he claimed Dee Dee since they knew the audio was getting leaked? Probably, yeah. Because what are they going to say now? But, uh, but, ironically, shut up and me, he's now claiming Dee Dee to make damage control for the lies. But, he, by doing this, he's confirming he's a liar. So either way, you're a liar. Was he lying about being off probation? I have no idea. Don't forget, he was lying to me more than anyone. So, for me, I have no idea. I don't know this guy at all. That's what he is, a fart in the wind. No one says he's definitely going to jinx him. He's really not to you because and you've been pleasure. not doing he nothing but talk about him. He stole shoes from Walmart. Or he wanted to. He didn't do it with me that day. I made him put them fucking back. I want you to promise us you will not fall back. You into told trap. us that you bought them. I pro I cannot even believe you, but I still think I will fall into his trap. Do you see if I go back to him, he will kill me? No, no doubt. I'm his enemy. And he said many times, don't fuck with a guy who has nothing to lose. He's going to, he's on trial. Like, he has nothing, like, no, there's no way 
I have no feeling for them. Like I have a, more feeling for the jar of olives in my fridge right now. Oh, well, we know that. I don't think they knew Chantal. The look on Dee's face once they kept saying there's a new audio out was priceless. Fuck yeah. Please just disconnect yourself from him and her completely. He's a crappy person and it's clear to anyone. Yep. Whoever they just wasted that money. Uh, uh, we've been trying to do that for a year, no. and she, you know, she no, doesn't listen. She just see. profits. Thanks, Google friends. I appreciate it, guys. Like, uh, you guys have helped me see. For sure, if I didn't have a public platform, I'd probably be in a fucking apartment with him. Just told him chat about uh, because you know what? Look what happened to fucking Delphine. He has zero redeeming qualities. I wish that one of the reaction channels would get Garfield or one of Delphine's him. They probably don't want to relive it, but I feel bad for them. People always go. That's another thing women go through when they go. Her them. cousin was in one of the... Yes, it's, it drives you insane like blame. People doubt you and, you know, because you do lie for your abuser. So people don't believe you. You know? Jennifer and Dee seem really close. I'm sure there's so much more. Oh, I can't wait. She's probably trying to get her into the relationship, too. I couldn't afford him. Yeah, neither could his ex. No, but I would be probably living a... Like his ex? <coughs> I'd probably be working at a really decent job. Like, before I started YouTube, I had a good job. I'd probably be working a decent job, middle age, middle, mid wage. I wouldn't be a public figure, but I would be successful. It's just not how I am. Like I like, knock on wood, I like to be ambitious. I go you to told life, everybody that all she did was call out of work. I love you, girl. We're gonna fix it. Save it. Have to watch that. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Maybe she really thinks she won. He's gonna dump her when he finds a younger, miserable, vulnerable willing idiot like the girl on the porch like she may have been homeless but there's no doubt who was fucking her she was good looking you know and younger and couldn't get pregnant so yeah he's gonna leave you the minute he, he wants kids you don't think if he doesn't go to jail he's gonna give me a break you helped him for nothing just like i did he's a piece of crap abusive piece of crap no the porch lady yes i feel bad for her If you're watching Porch Lady and you want to come on my channel and give us a tell-all, I'll give you a meal, I'll give you fucking 200 bucks, drive you to a shelter, and help you get clean. Call me. No, she didn't. No pressure. No. Help you get clean. <laughs> By what? Letting her take a bong hit? This guy is disgusting. YouTube, he's a porch lady. A, I think the homeless woman. And he has the nerve to be like, you think I screw homeless? He got so mad at me and like almost friggin' hit me too when I said that. He's like, you think I screw homeless? What do you think I am? Yes, I do. I, I think you're a piece of crap. Look at me. I think you're a piece of crap and I hope you go to jail. She got big ball, football balls now. I don't face right now. I don't know what hurts you. Get her seven meals, one for each day of the week. You can do it, Caesar. <laughs> no, I haven't been crying. I just was. I'm. I've been smoking. I'm so concerned for you. Yeah, cause like. Yes. Cause I see how women are manipulated by him. Especially her. Like she's given so much of herself for him. She, whatever, inserted herself, yes, but. I don't know. I feel oh, like it's Dee actually like a again. fall day. Maybe I actually am defending Dee Dee because I'm actually fucking grateful for her sacrifice. She really, really, really did. She. Because she... him abusing me and hitting me wasn't enough for me to leave him. Or maybe it was. It actually start like the more it happened the more he got comfortable with it and like every time i would go back it would be like a red light for a green light for him to do it so 
you know, it would just get worse and worse. And he did, he did, he was scary, you know. Or so if you say she's what? The same way you didn't listen to any of us for over a year, she's not. The thing is, Carolina, I did listen to you guys. I didn't not listen. I was listening, even if it was passively, even though I chose to ignore it. A suitcase vanished. Sure, Dan. I still heard all of you guys, and it was weighing on me. That's why we get defensive. And, I knew you were okay. That's why we're all on so the other side. We're rocked. Okay. What a piece of shit. You know that you're a piece of crap. He flinches constantly when he's screaming and moves in. Yeah, she probably get handsy with it. That's how I was flinch. Remember that in video in my room where he smacked something and I flinch? The reaction channel had because he's fucking smacky. Yeah. 18 days until his big day. Watch his drug use and drinking amp up significantly. That's a sign of abuse. Why didn't they end up getting together? He tells she's in the States, fuck. <coughs> he tells these women what they want to hear. He doesn't actually want he just needs a supply. So whoever is willing to supply him, he's gonna like. I can't say no to him? No. No apartment. No money. Ugh. No sex. Nothing. No thumbnail. You are really thumbnail? tough you behind that that TV. Don't you? Oh man, I could destroy this guy. Ah. Slappy Pappy. I'm lucky. I'm so lucky. What about the time you threw the knife? Which is why you should be trying to protect the other one, you asshole. Marble mouth. It's not the accent. It's just yeah. Chantal, you did a great job jumping from that sinking ship. Who said that? I'll count myself lucky, but I'm not going to... Who said that she did a great job? Like, I don't know. With quitting the cocaine, I thought that was going to ruin my yeah, life. You're on I'm something else. It. And it's not edibles. Everyone, see if I can do what you can do. Everyone has the strength in them. Even if you look at someone and think they'll never do it. That's your shitty attitude. Everyone has the ability. Everyone has the fucking ability. God put you on this fucking planet for a reason. Find it. Listen to this and philosopher. My, my The reason that it was put in my life was to teach me a fucking lesson and to be stronger for what else I have to do in my life. What else are you going to do? If I did it to you as a kid, you wouldn't be able to sit down. That new eyeshadow no, palette says that she's going to be on here on edibles tonight. Gary, I'm really sorry that you had to hear that. That's fucked. That's disgusting. No, something told me, like, honestly, it was probably divine intervention. Because something was telling, nagging at me, like the whole drive home. Remember I went live and was like all happy that I was spent time with Matter, and then my mood changed. And then I did a live stream, I know what it is. <clears throat> what was that, what did I say on that live stream? That's, that was my final fucking straw, those realizations I came to. Did you buy that big brown kitchen table? Man, he thought he was a real chef after he bought that. Oh no, fuck, that's from his ex. His ex gave him all that for furniture. He says that on his body. What a sick fuck. He's a sick fuck. Of course he says that. Ugh. Hey, I'm Janet. He, he slapped me, so this is what happened. After... You bought an octopus, he slapped, slapped you. Him, I raced back there. I was like, oh, fuck, they're going to, like, you know. He went live. People know where he is. He was trying to pretend he was on a date. I said, you know, we couldn't be honest then because he wasn't supposed to be around me. Um, a dumb sub symbol. What? Anyway, this was from my fucking grandma. He, uh, I had to run back to the Hill Adam. He went back to his place. I would never curse on my grandmother. 
Oh, he was just fucking around. He was getting all antsy and there was such stress. Like, I don't even want to relive it. He was yelling at me. I'm not even serious. I was going to race at me, dude. Um, so I'm like, let's go to a hotel. I'm like, what do you want to do? Like, I cannot stay. He didn't make sense for him. He wanted to stay in Gatineau at his old place. But he was paranoid about the cops finding us out. Because I was like, let's go to mot a motel in Montreal. And then you're closer to Dee's house. He's ignoring Dee Dee. He was probably lying at her the whole time that he needed to be in Gatineau. So Dee Dee's freaking out. Anyway, we go to Motel Monville for a night. Fuck it, for 150 or whatever. Right? It was like expected that kick. Right on the wind. So we get to the hotel. I'm looking through Uber Eats and he's like on his phone ranting and doing something. So I was like, do you want octopus? And it was like, and then he's like, yeah, I, I want octopus. It was like 34 bucks. And I'm like, ugh. So I was like, let's just look for something a bit cheaper. And I was like, I don't think he heard me. So I'm like, oh, Donaire and fries. Like they looked really good from a place called Koufax or something like that. Like it looked like really good. So then I fucking like, I order it, not thinking he would care. It's like free food for you. Her nose is actually getting comes, fat. And I sit at the desk in the chair and he's naked and because we had sex or whatever he while you're crying at home dee probably wondering where he is he was we were in a hotel yeah and that's your new boyfriend <laughs> Shit. so the food comes he's like what's this when he finds out what it is i'm like don't air he flipped the fuck up he's like did i say i want don't where's the octopus blah 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 basically uh i don't even want to talk about it Basically giving me shit like you. I'm not an. I'm not a fucking animal. I'm not an animal. Yeah, you are an animal. Running around the side of the bed, pacing. He starts pacing before he gets all sloppy. <laughs> it's not funny, but he's so ugly. You are ugly. You look like a loose ligament squiggling around motel room. Oh, you're not an animal. You should do an impression of it. It's actually not funny and it shouldn't be a parody, but go off, sis. This is a special place in hell, right for Natter. Right? It's, 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 it's a box, Natter, when you die. And man has octopus taste with a sardine budget. <laughs> I will let you guys can laugh with me. It's going to be a disaster. Boyfriend until August 3rd, then he will deny her to his boyfriend. Oh god. <laughs> Secret bees are Devo. I'm not digging this mascara. No, he hid it from me because I made him fucking promise. He gave me one bottle of speed to dispose of, but he was always taking. He wanted me to give him money to get do Cialis. Because he fucking. <laughs> Fuck you! I hate him when you did anything! Every time he would come home from his friends, he would make me, he's like, can you drop me off at my friends for a little while and get no super shadiest part of Gatineau ever. But he probably did drugs when he was there, because he would always be different every time he'd come back and he'd be super lovely. Same! Like, you did the same! Twinsies! So then he paced around the room and then he, out of nowhere, he just fucking smacked me. Like, I didn't see him do it, but I felt it. It was hard enough, and I was like, so I went like that right away. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And then he, like, after he hit me, he did this snarly rapping, like, <laughs> oh my god, and I just, I fucking need therapy. Oh, I hate you. It's not I funny. I hate this mascara. I absolutely hate it. Abusive, abusive ass. Trash. I hope you go to prison. I hope you go to prison. Because I wouldn't give a used mascara away. I should have known better and just thrown it in the donate. Um, I think I like waterproof mascara because it thickens up the lashes. Uh, but that was two coats and Sorry. I have to... No, this is my way. I have to make fun of him when he's fucking being abusive. Fuck that. Go into the, to the good one. So I was like, Are you oh, you know what? Like, Dear, I'm not just gonna throw this out. There's no lube in prison. Throw the tube out. Keep the wand. 
Keep your wands, whether they're for your eyebrows, your whatever yeah, kind of wand. I'm not him tier, Mascara, so clean them now. off and keep them. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. And then when you get I'm when sorry, you get a few. We know and you don't have to talk to about it sleep. now. Give us some details that we never had. Okay? Give us the deets on that. I keep my wands in the bag. Well, at least I need to open with you a piece of shit. You must feel free. And then you donate them the to the wildlife. So they can clean the birds and the chipmunks. Just point stabby hands. Yeah, and yeah, of course. It's expensive. They're good for the wildlife. So look up your local wildlife and they have like, drop them off. I actually genuinely cared about him all this whole time behind my back. Laughing at me, plotting against me, cheating on me. We know. We know. I'm so glad it's over. Ah, oh, I'm I afraid know. it's not. Strawberries were so good. What did I see in him? Lies. I believed his lies. I even believed him when he said I had to go to his he had to go to his friends in Gatno to collect money from when he was in jail. He's showing up to see if the guy's there. Always a vague story. Never never concrete answers from him you know always vague giving you the spin around he's very fucking uh liar he's the worst human being ever ever to exist in my opinion like he's not great i've come into contact with he can get a whole lot more away with yeah he said he used to carry around a machete in egypt of course he could get away with shit in egypt that's why he thinks he can come here and do the same fucking thing be sloppy with women and fucking uh, stab people? No. You're in the fucking land of the free. But you're in Canada, pal. It's different here. So, you know, um, just be in our. I hope you enjoy our prison system. Pretty sure that's our thing. I mean, Canada's that's not. Where you will be forever and they're a socialist country. I know that part. I'm sure of it because you keep. He has no self. I say that because he has no self awareness. So how can he change? He just you have no self awareness. Look at this puff and stuff. Yeah, still no smoking. That's what he thinks. That's why he loves that. No one wins but matter. Didi only wanted him because she felt it was a competition. But like she didn't win her prize. I gave him to her. That's no, you didn't. didn't even have that. Like, girl, you better get. I'm telling I you, big girls fall hard, and that high horse that you're sitting on, it's gonna hurt like a bitch when you fall off of it. Didn't <clears throat> He's still thinking up my time by talking about it, yeah. And you know what? I'm gonna be following. I want to see him go away. Honestly, as somebody who's not emotionally affected really by it at much, like. I don't care about their relationship, so I could just... Oh, you care. As soon as you get your pudgy ass, ass off this off like this live, you're going to be looking at everything. The crappy shit he's doing to remind myself to stay away and why I'm not with him. Okay, it's just going to look a little crazy right now. Now there's no pride. You hair crazy. girls yeah. out there, don't... Don't... Look at that. Look. That no, should be my exactly. thumbnail. It doesn't cause me anxiety right now. Not emotionally affected in the same way, okay? If I feel like, that's why I'm not, I'm not listening to these recordings. I don't want to. I don't know how they will catch me, but everything else is fine. <coughs> I can see him kiss her, I don't care. I don't, because I don't want to be kissing him. So the fact that I'm indifferent to that, I'm relieved that I'm not raging about it. Like I don't. Oh, there's so many things I want to do. She is watching it. I don't know. She's still alive. Because this bitch can go. I like a real queen at the top of my life. Go hours and hours and hours. So I don't know if she's still alive or not. I'm in competition. But you know damn right well. Right she gonna watch that. And that's why I don't care about them, you know. 
Yeah. Yes, I do have some anxiety about the situation. Like, overall, yeah, I do. Because it does still, okay, it does still affect me emotionally, but I mean, like, I'm not jealous of their relationship. So, like, I'm not jealous of their relationship, like, and I'm, and I have anxiety because of everything I've been through with him, and what really, really weighs on me, I find, and I'm just surprised that I, I don't know, I didn't think, like, this would be it, but he, I was with, like, I, for, like, a whole year, I was with him a lie, and for me, that lie was real, you know, so I'm, like, mourning something that- But you really listen good. to us. You just said 20 know. minutes ago that you like listened to us. And we told so, you that it was all phony baloney. And I just feel a bit of anxiety. Like, I don't know Good what grief. he's going to do. He's crazy. He's got nothing else to lose. I don't know what his next move is going to be. Um, I think it's time for a new curl, uh, straightening iron. Reality gives me anxiety. I'm really not in the mood to buy one. I've had this for like almost 10 years. I don't straighten my hair every I day. Able, I'm not baiting him. So I'm like my hair tools him. last a while. Cause and yeah, we don't talk about hair around here. So yeah, I guess if you call that baiting, maybe. <clears throat> the truth has always triggered him. This is our whole contention we couldn't be together. Cause you know, what he does in private, he wants kept private. Well, I'm not sorry. We're all just ready for your honest perspective after watching you protect him. Yeah, but I, the thing was, pretty much at the time, if I lied for him, it would come out. So, uh, what else do you think I lied about? Like, I could clear up anything, I don't care. No, I don't cry about him anymore. Wasn't she just in a drawer or something, like, and she pulled mm -hmm. something out and she wasn't going to throw... I don't know, because I jumped in mm -hmm. and then jumped out because she was okay. high as a kite last night. Maybe I'll be ready to listen to it later. I don't know. You are totally going to listen to it. Look at how big I she got. I don't think that there's any point. Because, like, it's not like it's going to make me, you know, there's no possibility of me going. When people say he doesn't, and you read his response is that he fills the fridge. No, he doesn't. I paid, like, $250 a week to fill his little fridge at Gatineau Place. So how is it, like, he didn't buy anything, like, Anytime I went to Gatineau, he would always, or uh, Montreal to Lachine, he would pull me aside and be like, I owe her, I just want to pay Didi back. Oh man, now, you know what? And I'm glad I didn't give him 1600 to do it. I think I gave him 300 Because I didn't have the money. I was like, fuck you, I need money for myself. Like, to make sure I still could pay my bills and everything. So I just gave him what I felt like I could afford to. I'm not that stupid. No, I wouldn't have given him a red cent, but okay. His two apartments. He told me that in, in Egypt. It's not the same in Egypt having an apartment. And you don't have to listen to anything. Everything How are you a refugee a from a country and then you have abuser. apartments? Abuser. Yes. He's an abuser. He he fucking flicked a lit cigarette at me and burned me on my arm. He put, he fucking hit me. He put, like fucking he fucking beat on me. He is an abuser. We heard all of these stories. They're written in a report that you recanted. tried to burn down the trap. She's full of shit. They're full of shit. Get to this, the stories that you were sneaking around. That's what everybody wants to know at this point. That's your one picture of me stalking you? That's not stalking, dumbass. I was at your house all the time. Everyone knows this. You're such a loser. You have nothing. You're a crooked criminal and you have nothing. Why don't either of them drive a car? I don't know. They have bad eyes. <clears throat> what? Yeah. First of all, he's always he's high and him. angry. So he, he should not be behind the wheel of a car. He looks like a sleep paralysis demon. He looks like insidious. She needs to stop calling people names because it's enough to not. And I was still willing to marry him. 
McKay, I'm telling you. It's true. I'm so sorry you went through that, but like and is he getting justice? And it's true. Like I like the physical abuse, I was taking it and willing to excuse it as he needs to get better. He needs to be in anger management longer. Something we can work on. As long as he's devoted to me and <laughs> like Oh man, I was willing to lose myself. Lose you did. You? Look at you right now. You have to lose him to love yourself. Phoebe. That's basically that song. Yes. I had to lose him to love myself. That's such a good song for me. Oh god. That's all we're gonna hear now. Oh my god. At least we won't be hearing the stupid love songs. Oh, I'm so glad we're over Melissa Etheridge. Anyway. That creepy smile, and it shows all the teeth. Which reminds me, I guess she does love yeah. you. I'm so happy for you. Well, he, like the he way you do. Probably when you were getting yours. <laughs> right? Anyone know what was the pink piece of paper? Wait, they don't know about this yet? What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> I know that I had to learn about her life. What was the pink paper? Oh, that you filed a bullshit charge against me? Dude. Dude. Please try it. Please. Yeah, I had to drive. He would get mad if I didn't drive him to anger management courses. <laughs> the way he looks at Dee Dee for validation all the time. I was big. Mm -hmm. I spelt your name wrong on the official document. You know, it's a police report. I'm waiting to be arrested. A police report for what? Oh, he's filing a bullshit police report saying that I hit him? Okay, I'm waiting to be arrested. I keep get mad if I didn't drive him to anger management is a funny sentence. Oh my god. Like, but you did because you disappeared. Oh. And when people called you on it, you're like, no, it's not, not it. Honestly, the cops came here. I would be like, okay, she has to apologize to every single one of us on this side now. I have, where's your proof that I hit you, dumb fuck? But I can prove that I was with you. My story is more credible. Actually, I could bury you. I could probably go recharge you for everything I dropped. You know why? You shouldn't because be allowed to. I'm, I'm sorry. With my stories and my my history of being. They're both wrong in this situation. And receipts. I think every woman should be able to go back and say, and you know what? I was scared to death. I dropped this. I dropped the charges, and Ooh, I want to refile. And she should be kept. She's she should be fun of me. protected. She's outing my abuse officer. The cops are gonna friggin' laugh at you. But what she does is no. I have a strong feeling. Filed something. What? What? They're all guilty parties. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm still waiting. Come at me in the comment section, but I, I just waiting. feel they're all, all of them are awful. All of them. I can also make claims against, I can bury them with this new evidence. I can, I'm not worried at all. At all. She also abused him. He's a piece of shit, not fixable. Absolutely. Verbally. I don't know if he's and publicly. Oh. oh, don't worry. I have a lot of stuff. That does not mean that I think she deserved to have hands put on her. Absolutely not. And he should be punished for what he did. Oh my god. But her going back and because she's being vindictive, no. Well, that's what they do when they look for food. I pray this is for real, Chantal. What? What's real? Me not want him. You, I really hope you guys don't think I want him anymore. So I want him. He showed a pink piece of paper folded really tiny and said he was charging me with DVs. 
Should I put like a little penny <laughs> tail in? Oh my god! The pink paper is Dee Dee's adoption paper. <laughs> Yes, thank us all. I've learned my lesson. Thank you very much. I did. Escaping reality. Hey, Chantal. Long time no see. I'm very glad to see you staying strong on this. We've all been waiting for you to kick into the curb. Thank you, Escape Reality. <laughs> yes. Is there ma any mango sausage left, or do we need to go to Costco? His pink slip is nothing but narcissism grandiosity. Yeah. Look at her using big words. Or did she read that from the chat? The abuser has been abused. That's laughable. That's what they do. Uh, right, H? Narcissists. So this is what they do. They fucking... Her pepto bismol prescription. It was her pepto prescription for her Chantel induced diarrhea. Yeah, thinking of going for you and um, having sex with you again gives me diarrhea too, dude. Don't worry. You stay well to your mashies. I'm on your side. There's people who care. Thank you, Erin. That's really nice of you. Thank you so much. I still got at least 12 lines. I'm trying to sort out the credit card. Pink Slip was his notice to report to Dee's principal office. Know your power, don't mention him, don't talk about him, and his channel will die in no time. Can't believe Dudu actually has a doo-doo problem. <laughs> Perfect for her. Well, the good news is, if he files false claims, he will only get himself charged. Dude, they're false? How did I, did I abuse him? Did I, I haven't even seen him in like, oh, he's probably going way back. What? Oh, he's gonna lie. Yeah, he's gonna lie. I'm waiting to be arrested. Keep flapping He's your lying. lips, and you might be. He's probably going to try to do that. Do you have your collar yet? Do you have to ask? <laughs> yeah, really. I think it would be better for you to just put anything to do with him behind you now that you know for certain. Yes. I'm done. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, gosh. She's going to keep going on and, and on and on and on. Just let them get on with it. Yeah. Ew, and she farted. <laughs> uh, I don't know, like, Carolina, like, he must be, like, on his DV report against me, his imaginary abuse story, he must be saying that it's back in the past because I haven't seen him in forever, so if he's doing a charge from his DV, and so he's lying, he's committing perjury, because they do make you swear that you're not lying, so he'll get, he'll just get himself in trouble. And so will she. Okay. So, Dee Dee says she watches every minute of all your live streams for evidence. Hi, Doo Doo! How's your diarrhea? Your new diarrhea boyfriend. I just had a big mouth, yummy. She probably has diarrhea because she friggin' the jet. I'm poked! I have to say that because then. We'll be going to Sarah, the party and I'll say, you have to turn around. I don't think I unplugged my girl and I are. No. I don't want to listen to it. They're not important. I don't care. I'm convinced the king was in a dog bowl. <laughs> dog bowl birthday cake. When I saw that headline on fucking barbecue chicken video, she wrote dog bowl in capital letters. Everyone hated him from the get-go and made fun of him. Do you know how hard it was to try to stroke his ego for that? You know how fucking mad he was? Okay, yep, but we're gonna find out, out, I'm pretty sure. Let's reconnect with your French lover. Let's just comfort ourselves today because I'm feeling mentally ill. I so think I'm gonna well, wear these. And life. My little danglies. Let's cook a hell of fresh meal. She got real. See? <laughs> Take an uh, edible. No, I haven't been hooking up. And what she's going to do is talk about him on edible. Oh, I'm going to miss a well, lot, aren't I? He got so mad at me for the card. I didn't get it. He, he blamed me. He blamed me for his face showing. 
He still doesn't understand 95% of the people in this chat are making fun of him. Yep. Seriously though, like someone has a people or better income. Yeah. Feels like a piece of board showing him. <laughs> Cheers to five star days and only five star days. Please the fifth. Oh my god! Do you mean five star as in hotels? <laughs> That's a, that's a pause right there. If you, like I said in my live the last time I have a problem with um like getting my cartilage pierced, like I had my nose done three times and every time like the earring would come out or the ring would come out of my nose. Um mostly at night when I was sleeping I probably was just like scratch it off. Um pissed me off because I loved my nose ring. I got these little ear cuffs. Because I can't get the cartilage pierced. Oh, it's backwards. So I just do the ear cuffs. And it looks care. Plus you can put them anywhere you want. So. Kind of like going up high. I'll pull it down a little bit. And you just pinch them to keep them in. But, again, you know, I shop this on for everything. I got like all kinds of, all kinds of um, ear clips, eh, or ear, ear cuffs. Uh, and I match my medals, I don't care. I got, I lost a few, but I got these little, like a bunch of little tiny ones because I have three pierces here. So, um, trying to think which one do I want. I lost a few, which really bums me out. I think this, so, the, and like, they're so cheap. But I do everything on Amazon. I'm telling you, I love it. So, I'm almost ready. I'm wrapping up. I'm putting my jewelry on. And uh, then we're we're headed out of here. Headed over to um, the city. She's right outside of... She's right outside of Center City, so... I mean, outside of Philadelphia. Where I grew up in Maniunk. She's on, like, the other side of the the river so and I, I'm like looking forward to it because his um, his aunt is a nun and she lives with two other nuns and um, they're older they're so cute I, I'm like I, I just feel so like it, it, it's just something like being in their company makes me feel comfortable. Um, and the one is feisty. So, you know, his aunt's a sweetheart. And so we're going to go there, celebrate his uncle's birthday. So it's his dad's mom and dad. I mean, his dad's brother and sister, but yeah, so that's it. I'm ready for the party. I hope you enjoyed my haul. Um, I'll link the, the baby suits in the description box. Um, and of course, Boxy, uh, Boxy let me down this month. So I will keep everybody posted on the eyelash serum and I will continue to use that moisturizer. It feels pretty good. I mean, you know, my makeup didn't break or anything like that. So all's well with the uh, moisturizer. Um, I probably didn't put enough hair in my little ponytail, but at least it's out of my, out of my face. So I hope you guys have a great Saturday. Um, I know I'm probably going to miss a lot. I missed a lot last night. Um, 
So I'll try to catch up as best I can and I'll see you next time. Bye.